Hello friends, we are back with our new video. In this video, I will discuss how to draw a bubble plot in R or R Studio that you can use for your official presentation or in your publication. Please visit our website statswitha.com for more details and if you have any queries, shoot us an email at learnstatisticswithr at the red gmail.com. The overall process involves several steps and I will discuss stepwise. Let's begin. For demonstration, we use the dataset Graduate Admissions from Kaggle. This is a highly voted dataset. We used this same dataset for our tutorial on drawing a scatter plot. We download the data as a CSV file. The dataset consists of several variables. Here we focus on four of them. The scores in TOEFL and GRE, university rating, and the chance of acceptance at a top US university. As many of you might know, the scores in GRE are between 260 and 340, and in TOEFL, they are between 0 and 120. The university ratings are integers taking values 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5 and the chance of acceptance is a fraction between 0 and 1. This dataset contains observations from 400 students. To read the data in R, we use the following code. Let's see step by step. To read the CSV file, we use the function read underscore CSV which is available in the package read R. So first we install this package and call into R using the command library. Once we run the second line, the data is read into the data frame GRE2FL data. The data frame contains 9 variables. We just extract four of them, namely the GRE score, TOEFL score, university rating and chance of admit and store them into the vectors GRE, TOEFL, unib.rating and chance respectively. Once we run the code, the vectors GRE, TOEFL, unib.rating and chance are ready to use. First, we want to create a bubble plot where we plot TOEFL scores along the x-axis and GRE scores along the y-axis and university rating through the different sizes of the bubbles. Later, we will consider the vector chance. Before we move to create the ggplots, first we need the package ggplot2. So we need to install it and call it into R or RStudio. For this, we use the comments install.packages and library, similar to the package read R. Now we are ready to create the ggplot. In the console window, type ggplot a blank bracket plus geom point within aesthetics x equals to TOEFL, y equals to GRE, and size equals to unib.rating. Now press enter. Ok, you get your first bubble plot. We can see that the axis titles are just the names of the vectors. For making this figure a presentation quality one, let's make some changes. First, let's rename the axis titles by TOEFL score and GRE score respectively, as this makes the plot clearer to your audience. To do that, add the line xlab TOEFL score within quotes plus ylab GRE score within quotes. Now press enter. Ok, you get your second bubble plot. You can see that the axis titles have changed. Next, note that the axis texts and axis titles are quite small. To enlarge them, add the line theme 
axis dot text equals to element text size equals to 15 this increases the font of the axis axis dot title equals to element text size equals to 15 this increases the font of the axis titles if you don't want one or two of them you can remove that line the larger the size you want you need to fix a larger number so choose a number accordingly now press enter okay you get your third bubble plot with enlarged axis texts and axis titles next note that the bubbles are very dark and it is difficult to visualize the coordinates where the concentration is the maximum to do that we can make the bubbles transparent to do that within geom point outside aesthetics set alpha equals to some number between 0 and 1 do not choose too small suppose we choose 0.6 here now press enter okay now you have your fourth bubble plot with transparent bubbles next in the scatter plots or bubble plots there are chances of overlapping of two points thus to observe this overlapped points separately we can slightly perturb the points so that the general pattern remains the same but all the points are distinguishable to do that we replace geom point by geom jitter now press enter okay you get your fifth bubble plot with slightly perturbed bubbles next note that the legend title is unip dot rating which is just the name of the vector you might want to change it to a proper title say university rating to do that add labs size equals to university slash n rating within quotes here the slash n breaks the words university and rating into two lines otherwise the title would be too long now press enter okay you get your sixth bubble plot with a proper legend title Next, note that the legend title, legend keys and legend texts are quite small and you might want to enlarge them. To do that, add theme legend dot text equals to element text size equals to 15. This enlarges the numbers 1 through 5. Legend dot key dot height equals to unit 1 comma centimeter within quotes then legend dot key dot width equals to unit 1 comma centimeter within quotes these two enlarge the bubbles then legend dot title equals to element text size equals to 15 this enlarges the legend title now press enter okay you get your seventh bubble plot you can see that the legend title legend keys and legend texts are larger now so far we haven't considered the vector chance if you want a bubble plot with chance instead of university rating you can just replace the steps we have discussed so far now in case you want to plot chance along with university rating in the same plot proceed as follows because we have already used the size of bubbles for unip dot rating we need to use the color or point type of bubbles for chance also chance is a continuous variable unlike university rating and hence color is a better option here here suppose we consider color now to add chance to the plot add 
color equals to chance within geometer within aesthetics also the way we created a legend title for university rating we need to create a legend title for chance as well to do that add color equals to chance within quotes within labs note that this is different from the vector chance here chance within quotes is just the legend title now press enter okay we have the eighth bubble plot and the variable chance is added in the plot the colors indicate that the students whose scores are plotted near the right top corner generally have higher chance of getting selected we can see that the color palette is the default one varying between dark blue and light blue you might want to replace the palette by a different one for example the viridis palette to do that first install the package viridis and call into r using the functions install.packages and library similar to the packages ggplot2 and read r then add a line scale color viridis a blank bracket now press enter okay you get the final bubble plot you might consider this bubble plot for your presentation or publication if you found this video helpful please like comment share and subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon for more updates